Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today I'm showing you or sharing with you a new Dragon Ball Idol game that I've been playing on the phone. Well, it's new to me. Um, and I'm honestly completely addicted. So if you're a fan of Dragon Ball and you like cell phone games, well, let's check it out and see what you think about it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. All right, so first and foremost, as you can see, it only has a tall screen mode, which I think is, what, 9 by 16? Um, so on the cell phone, it's not bad. Where I'm playing it with blue stacks on the computer, I obviously get these black bars. But anyways, uh, so this game is an idle game, as you see. It says auto-idling, and what that means is we're getting resources and stuff by just sitting here. Uh, you don't have to actually have the game running for that to continue. It will just continue and continue and continue. Uh, it is online. You fight against people. You can befriend people, send them stuff. You know, the, the typical mobile gaming experience. Um, you do have plenty of characters to go through and unlock. Um... Here's all the actual characters, not just the ones I've unlocked. As you can see, there's tons of them. All your favorites to random nobodies. But essentially, what you'll have to do is level up each of your characters. You do that with these experience capsules, and then you have these breakthrough capsules every 20 levels at first you will level up and then break through and then continue that until about level 100 and then after that it's every 10 levels you have to break through but essentially you get a team together and you go fighting of course there's just like any mobile app daily gifts that they give you uh, stuff like that right now we have this little um, event going on which I can kind of show you here Let's see so basically it's mystery boxes you click one and you get resources stuff like that they give you free gifts just for playing the game basically all that kind of fun stuff what did I miss here Oh, I bet it's the, yeah, discount. So one thing I will say about this game, it's very, very pay to win. Um, you can do free, you know, free to play and you can progress up some, but the higher you're ranked in things, the better rewards you get. So it is definitely very free to play I mean uh, pay to win but there's a lot of different things you can do on here uh, completion these are commission quests basically they'll give you different awards as you see I'm going through and trying to uh, do some of these so I can get the rewards you can have your people out there to assist Okay, so the way you get characters is through summoning. You have three different types of summons. Normal summon, these little blue icons. You'll typically get, you know, low characters. Nothing too fancy. Friends, pretty much the same thing, but you require more. I don't have any of those. And then there is the advanced summon. What is it telling me to do here? Ah, Battle Pass. 
So there's a little battle pass you can get and unlock stuff. And we unlocked more things. So now I want to show you some of the more advanced summons you can do. I've got a few of these. And yeah, not getting anything good there. Oh, I did get some shards for my character. So essentially, shards, you'll need those to advance your characters or awaken them. Um, basically, it goes up to how many shards you'll need. Let's see, Bobbity is the one we got. So we can see that we need 50 shards for him and I've got nine. So yeah, I need more of those. There's also an RPG element in the fact that you can upgrade these marks. They go from like green, blue, purple, gold. And same thing with gear. You can upgrade their gear, outfit them with that. Um, there's definitely a lot to do with each of these characters. See, so I'm gonna go through and upgrade her weapon. Upgrade her marks. Oh, quite an upgrade, okay. And you can also raise their Kiko, which is basically just training. Oh, I'm getting bad trolls here for sure. There's also, of course, uh, different play modes. There's instances, which get you resources, trials, uh, various different things like Kai training, which is basically just run around here. Uh, yeah, answer questions or fight things. Then there is first, you have a tournament, Corrin's Tower, you have to climb up, which is pretty fun. Uh, a few different things. And then there's bosses. Here is Mythical Adventure. You basically click this and get some rewards. A boss will appear every once in a while. But, oh, I've completed all my quests for today. Which, of course, you get daily quests that you gotta do. Uh, let's see, did I not have something I could fight in. Well, I think I do, but it's going to be something I lose. Because I've already pretty much done all the stuff I'm supposed to do today. You know how that goes. Oh, more stuff unlocked. Yay. So let's do this battle. Now this is a hard battle. My characters definitely need improving. But as you see here, you have a, a team and you position them how you want. Um, you also have super ultimate powers that you can level up and use. So we'll go ahead and fight this one. Now I'm telling you, it's going to lose. But, and there is no... Um, actual battle component to this you can just let it completely idle you can speed it up etc um the only thing that's selectable are these once you've unlocked them you can choose when to use them or you can choose auto and it will just automatically do the battle for you which for the most part works out for you. Every once in a while you do want to not let this do auto and use these strategically because you can get past, but see these guys are are whooping my ass pretty hard here. But you know, that's the way it goes. Yeah, I'm so gonna die. These guys hit like a truck, but I am on hard mode so I've completed the story through normal and went through but yeah yep she's dead anyways we'll drop out of that because I know I'm gonna lose 
But essentially, you raise your characters up higher, and then you get stuff. Um, like I said, there is verses, but there's also uh, clans in which you can join stuff. Um, oh, I need to register for that. Oh, yeah, I can't. Never mind. So, with clans, uh, you go through and you have clan bosses. I think I might be able to do this. Yeah, let's spend some gems. And go through and fight the boss. Now, with the bosses, it's not the same as completely defeat them and you win. Um, basically, you just go through and do as much damage as you can until you run out of turns. Um, the boss's health saves, and you know, so each clan member will do their attacks to bring the boss down. As you can see from here, I'm doing very, very little damage to him. So if I skip that, see, it'll tell me it's a victory even though the boss isn't downed. It's just a victory in the fact that we've contributed. Um, but as I'm mentioning, it is very, very much pay to win. Um, I'll just show you some of the rewards here. So for the tournament, if you look at the rewards, if you're, you know, down here or whatever, you're only getting three of these awakening stones, as opposed to up here, you're getting like nine or 15. How does that make a difference? Well, as we mentioned earlier, going through and awakening your characters. Oh, I can do limit break. Uh, sorry, I get distracted like a squirrel, you know? But as you're going through and you're doing this, you need those in order to be able to upgrade your characters. So there's stuff like that. There's also contests that will put you against other people and depending on your placement you get a better or a lesser reward and in order to you know rank up you have to have strong characters there's different rankings um there's d oh come on now quit doing that there's d c b a s double s and triple s so if your team is completely composed of triple s then you've probably got a really good team double s etc as you go down it's not as powerful well in order to get triple s and stuff you have to unlock the characters and the only way to unlock those is the summonings but that being said summonings cost gems and of course you can pay for gems and that's how you pay to win so yeah interesting stuff but all in all i actually as i said i'm really addicted to this game it is definitely a lot of fun um can i beat you Maybe. Need to adjust this. Take that off. Put that on. And fight. So I might be able to beat this. And then it'll expose more area. Dong. Let's see. So on this one, it doesn't look like it's going to let me auto with these. Or it's automatically auto and won't let me manually do them. Let's see what happens. Nope, yep, see it automatically did it. I can't change that. Wow, did the same move to me. That's not cool. So my team is focused on bleeds, uh, bleeds and power, basically. It works for the most part, um, I probably is better team lineup team lineups out there. I'm just not familiar with them, 
and I've kind of unlocked what I have by luck. Ooh. It's gonna be, I think I'm gonna lose this one. Yep, lost it. Oh well, it happens. But genuinely, I do like this game. It is a lot of fun. It's kept me addicted for for a couple weeks now, and I still plan on playing it. And yeah, overall, I just wanted to share it with you. If you're a fan with Dragon Ball and looking for a time killer while you're on your phone, this is definitely the game for you. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching. You wear a hat, they call dad. Me, I'm the dad in a hat. You just like clubbing in clothes. Me, I like afternoon naps. Three, I be missed for the road. My oldest like counting racks. You wear a hat, they call dad. Me, I'm the dad in a hat.